Hey everyone, it's Kelly from the YMCA of Martha's Vineyard um, via my deck again. Um, coming at you with another Camp Skills video. Uh, this time we are going to use our clove hitch, which we reviewed in, in the last video, um, and kind of take that to the next level to make some little rafts. So um, when I was growing up at camp, we called these wish boats. Um, and at the end of every camp session, um, we would light candles, um, put them on our boats and send them out into our lake um, as a wonderful goodbye ceremony. Um, but you can do anything with these little rafts. You can take them in the tub. You could go down to the ocean and send them off into the sea. Um, a good puddle work. So uh, really taking these little rafts anywhere and just having fun with it. So uh, the supplies that you'll need for this one are going to be two pieces of rope um, and actually twine works best. I don't have any at home with me, so I'm going to use kind of a thinner rope than I have been using, but um, any type of twine or string work really, really well for this, um, as well as I would say at least about eight sticks. You want to have two bigger sticks um, that kind of make the sides of your raft and then a series of smaller sticks that go down the center. Um, so here's kind of my sticks that I have set out for now. So just in case you need to go um, and grab your materials, go ahead and pause the video now um, and then come back to us when you have your stuff ready. Okay, so now here is our kind of layout and it's going to get a lot messier. So I just want to show you kind of this is what our end, our beginning and then hopefully our end looks like and in the middle we kind of put it all together. So put the phone down so I can use my hands. So I'm going to remove all these kind of sticks and have them to the side um, and just start with one stick here. Uh, you're going to grab your rope or your string ideally um, and this time what you're going to do is make sure that the top of your stick is in the middle of your rope. So you kind of do that by bringing the two ends together um, so that they are there and then pull that tight into the middle and you're going to want it up towards the top so that you can build your raft down. So now we're going to go back to that handy dandy clove hitch we learned last time. Um, so go ahead and do your clove hitch and just for anyone who needs a review, first you put that X across and again it doesn't matter which one goes over and under um, but you just want to identify which one goes over and under um, and start at the top of your stick so you have some working room okay so now I'm gonna take my end that's over wrap it around behind all right and loosen up my cross stick it through there pull it all the way through Pull that tight, get it all together. All right, that's our clove hitch at the top. Okay, so now that we have our clove hitch here, we're gonna get our first raft stick. Then you simply put that, the littler stick over your big stick, so it kind of crosses a T there, okay? And you put enough to the edge, now you have some out, but most in. And you're gonna take both ends of your rope, and wrap them over. Okay, so you're gonna have other pieces of your rope getting, you know, wrapped around your sticks and stuff, so that's fine, and every time you wrap it over, just kind of bring the sticks, bring everything back together to keep it clean. Now, on the flip side, once you bring both of these over like this, you're gonna cross them under, cross. Cross them under. Okay, so we got them crossed under the back side. Let's see if I can pull that up for you guys to see what that looks like from the back. All right, so these are crossed there in the back. That's how they should do. All right, we're gonna bring it back up. You know, the smaller you have your string or your twine, the tighter you'll be able to pull this. Um, so that's going to work to your advantage. All right, so now we simply have two ends once more. 
there. Sorry, it's going off the screen a bit. Bring in our next stick. All right. Put that one similarly under the rope. Pass it over once again. All right, hopefully you can see that. And this whole time you're really holding tight. Really holding it tight, pulling this tight the whole time. Do that cross under around the back. Ugh, pull it tight. The tighter you can do this, the better your raft will be. All right. All right. Again, double over. Pick it up. Under. All right, I'm just gonna do one more stick on here. Um, but again, you can make your rafts as big as you want them. You could, I know when I was a kid, I used to love making huge, huge ones. And then also making teeny tiny ones is fun too. So again, just lifting that up, crossing it under. Okay, so right now we're ending on that cross under there. Okay, so we just crossed under. We're gonna bring it up tight and we're gonna close it off with a square knot. Uh, so that's the first knot we posted. Um, and so, and you remember what it is? What we remember? So we go do it from this direction here. Right over left. under, pull tight, left over right. Okay. And there you finish her off with a square knot there. That's what your lashing looks like up on the top. That's what your lashing looks like along the bottom okay so now you let that sit for a moment get your second piece of rope and your other larger stick or longer stick and again same exact thing start with our clove hitch all right we're going to do it in the middle of the rope so again take your ends high so you can get your middle identified there Gonna have it towards the top of the stick. All right, in with our clove hitch. Putting a lot of our skills to you, so X across the top. My piece of string that has, is the top of that X, is gonna go around the back. Under my X. Okay, and then again, pull it tight in both directions here. All right, so there's my clove hitch. All right, and so now this side is a little bit more challenging because um, you already have all the sticks there, so you kind of have to weave in and under a bit. So we're gonna line it up the way we want that to look. Let's see, so much rope. All right, you know, always when lashing and knot tying, it's good to try and keep things clear as you can, but also uh, learn how to function in a little bit of chaos here. All right, so now we kind of have this set up to move forward. Um, sorry about that finger there. Um, you can see I'm getting ready to just do the same thing down the other side here. So I'm gonna start and go ahead and do that. You guys do that on your own as well. All right, so my sticks were so long, I was having trouble getting it on the video in the right way. Um, but here you can see my completed little mini raft. And I definitely challenge you guys to try 
Um, you know, if you have string or something, get these sticks a little bit closer in, um, but this will still float. <laughs> um, and then you can definitely, you know, keep adding sticks the whole, whole length, keep adding them in more and more. Um, and then for my other side here, like just did the same, clove hitch at the top, weave it over and under, and finish with that square knot there to keep it tight. All right, so that's your little raft or wish boat, as I grew up calling it, um, where we're using the clove fitch, lashing, and then finishing with our square knot. So go ahead and take your raft out for an adventure. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.